Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I got a challenge from one of my students called Alan Watson, who challenged me and he said, why don't you take some of your most favorite icon photos from like 10 years ago and retouch it with a fresh eye today? And I thought that was such a great concept. So I took one of my most iconic photos, which was my first sort of cover that I did, actually like small cover. And I, it's a photo that changed my life because I was an amateur back then. And when I got published in this magazine, I was like, okay, this life, I'm going to be a photographer. It gave me the confidence to be a photographer and a fine art photographer. You know, my test has completely changed over the years. You know, uh, you will see that back 10 years ago, I had a tendency to overprocess the photos because I was like a kid that just got a new toy, Photoshop, Lightroom, plugin, photomatics, or where there was so many techniques 10 years ago. And as I grew, I I got more natural and more wiser. In fact, it's a technique that has helped me a lot. This is my Instagram uh, number of followers for the last 12 months. I just passed over 100,000. And more and more I go natural, more I get impact. In fact, epic and natural, dramatic and natural, not dramatic and over -process. So here's the challenge and stay until the end. You will see the second project. The difference is crazy. All right, so here's the challenge. This photo I shot, you can see here, uh, I believe it's 1st August, 2007. Yeah, at 9 p.m. And, uh, you know, as I showed you, uh, this is, uh, you know, this was my first cover of magazine. This photo is probably the, the photo that brought me the most confidence. It was like, this is going to be my life. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't believe I made a, a magazine cover with this. And I want to show you how I would retouch it today. So I'm going to do a simplified version because truth be told, this was an HDR uh, and I'm not going to do it as an HDR because I want this to be not too hard for you to follow, but it's going to be a very similar thing. So this is one of the raw file of this photo. Uh, as you can see, there was a boat there. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy sunset. And now almost 13 years later, this is how I would retouch it. So this is a Canon 5D Mark II file, I believe. So um, it's going to be very noisy when you open up the shadows. Check this out, you know, uh, like especially here around the tree. I mean, it, I don't know if you can see on the video. Look at all the um, uh, the fringes we get here, you know, the chromatic aberration. Uh, my old Canon camera used to give me a lot of noise and a lot of chromatic aberration that I don't have now with the Sony. But so I would still probably open the shadows 100%. I would bring the highlights. Now, look at this. By bringing the highlights, I'm getting all that. But... What I do is I, you know, as I grow older as a photographer, I go much more natural. You see, the problem with this retouch is that it's, uh, for me, it screams Photoshop. I mean, I was happy I did a magazine cover with it, but a lot of people, when they saw the photo, their first reaction was like, oh, but did you do something to the photo? And did you Photoshop it? It was really always the first reaction. So I want to do it in a more natural way because, you know, 15 years later uh, or 13 years later, as I grew older as a photographer, I try to just, you know, I try to, this is my game, maximum drama, but not putting attention, on, not over processing the photo so that people don't think it's with Photoshop, you know? And as I told you on my Instagram, when I started doing that, my Instagram exploded. I think the best combination is drama versus not over the process. And that's what I'm gonna try to teach you here. So. I, I open up the shadows, I brought down the highlights, I'm gonna do my black point with holding the option key. Um, voila. And then I'm gonna do my white point. I don't wanna burn anything. I don't care about burning the CD light. So because I'm holding the option key, I can see what's burned. So I do it this, yeah, somewhere around there. Now the key is gonna be the white balance. Now the truth is I actually never do what I'm doing now. I always use my preset and I'll show you, I'll give you some of my free presets so you can do that. So you don't even have to follow all these steps. Uh, you can just install my free preset and you get most of it done. On this one, I might just warm it up, but, but I don't want to get it so yellow that I used to do because that's unreal. I mean, it was a crazy sunset, but it never gets that yellow. You know what I mean? So maybe I'm going to go like to daylight. Yeah, maybe daylight, the preset daylight is good. Maybe add a bit of magenta, but not so much. Maybe warm it up a little bit more because it's, it's more like a... This was more like after sunset, like the sun was really down. It's we're more into like the blue hour. So I think on this one, I will use a blue hour preset. I think it's going to work better. Maybe add a bit of more contrast. Okay. And then, um, yeah. So because I made it so dark, you don't see the, 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 the noise, which is kind of cool. 
So let's carry on. I think, let me zoom in. So on, I think on this one, I'm going to use Texture. Texture is a new slider that is only for people which are Creative Cloud members. So uh, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Um, you know, you just have to be a Creative Cloud member. You can check on photosearch.com on my gear page, how to become that if you need to. Uh, I think it's awesome. It's like $10 per month. You have Lightroom in Photoshop. I think it's kind of cool. So Texture is going to bring the break texture there. Now, Clarity, I'm actually going to do a minus Clarity on this one because minus clarity is going to make it uh, just less kind of HDR looking. Uh, now, vibrance and saturation, I'm not, I'm, I, I'm actually even going to do like maybe a little minus five vibrance because it's so, I mean, it was a very vivid moment. It was very, very in your face kind of, uh, it was one of the most incredible sunset I ever saw. So I don't want to underestimate the sunset. Uh, so here on you and saturation on you, I might move around this a little bit. You see how U is going to change the color. Let me do it in extreme. Here on the right side, it's going to take all the yellow of that wall and make it very yellowish. And here it's going to make it very red. Um, I think I want to go just maybe a little more reddish here. And then here on the orange, just go very light on this, you know, but this is what truly really what I do. So I just move this around, maybe make it a little bit more orange, just a little tad. And the greens, I'm not going to touch the greens. I'm not going to add any saturation because it was so much saturated already, this photo. Split toning, I'm not going to do anything. Details, I'm going to do something. So let me zoom back in. Uh, what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen this to about 70 so that it's really sharp. But that's going to bring back some of the noise here. So what I'm going to do, because it's it was a Canon file uh, from an old camera, I'm going to put the noise reduction probably around 30. Okay, and that's going to blur out a little bit the noise. So I like this value of 70 plus 30. That gives me a 100. I kind of like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my masking. So that 70 of sharpened right now is being applied everywhere. The problem, you can't really see it here, but it's going to sharpen the sky and it's going to make it a bit grainy. So what you can do, and that's very important, but that's included in my preset. You don't even have to worry about that if you use the preset. Is you hold on the option key and you do the masking around 50, 70. So what you see here in black is not going to get sharpened. You don't want to sharpen the sky. You don't want to sharpen, you know, you only want to sharpen the edges, okay? And in white is the edges, so it's a mask. White is going to get sharpened. Black is not going to get sharpened. And boom, this way we have a much cleaner file, much more cleaner file, which is kind of cool. Uh, so much less saturated. Maybe I'm going to make it a tad brighter like this, just a little bit more brighter. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to make a graded filter. So I'm going to click here. Okay. I'm going to click here and then I'm going to lower a little bit the saturation, the exposure here, and maybe add back a little bit of blue because I like to go from blue, but very little, like minus 10 maybe. I like to go from kind of blue to warm here. And then I'm going to click and drag and make the same value at the bottom of the photo just so that we focus more the attention inside of the photo. Let me show you before the gradient after. It's very subtle, but you know, as I grow older, I do a lot more subtle retouching. Um, and I think I'm going to add a gradient here for the sunset. I want to make the sunset even better, so I'm going to add a big gradient here. And on this gradient, I might just add a bit of yellow and a bit of magenta and a bit of exposure just to make this pop here. But you see now it's a little too obvious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here to first, I'm going to feather this uh, and I'm going to go to range mask luminance. Okay, luminance. And uh, I'm going to use the slider to the right so that this whole thing is going to go behind the buildings. This whole circle is going to go behind. Maybe I'm going to add a little bit more yellow and check this out. So before the circle, after the circle, just a little more yellow. I think I'm going to add more magenta. I think it, we can make it a little more magenta and maybe add a bit more saturation. Yeah, just for that part here, because this is where people are looking at I, this. One. So let's see before. After. Before, after. Maybe it's a little too much. So luminous mass. So, you know, it's kind of subtle. Uh, you know, I'm much more subtle now. Uh, let's see here what else we got. Um, sharpening we did profile make sure that yeah remove chromatic aberration now check this out 
chromatic aberration. You see how red that is? So let's click on remove chromatic aberration, see if it helps. And uh, it did help a little bit, but you see, we still get a, a lot of red. So when it like this, you go to manual and then you see here, you got purple U or green U. This is definitely more a red U. So what you do is you take this and you put it more in the red, okay? And then check this out. If I move this, look, look, look at the red here on the tree. If I move this to the right, bam, 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 look at this, it's gone. But you see now it's making a, a, a purple fringe, it's too much. So you have to go very light. I usually go like two or three, not more. It just, it's just gonna make it a bit less. Not completely gone, but a bit less. Let me show you before. See how the red is? and after. Okay. Now, transform, I'm not going to touch for now. And uh, post-crop vignetting, yes, I might add a bit of post-crop vignetting. Let me zoom out. So post-crop vignetting, I kind of like that. It just makes the, you know, the whole photo a bit darker. I think now I'm really too dark, so I'm just going to boost the exposure. I'm going to open up the shadows even more and boost the exposure, not so much. Now, I kind of like that. This is how it felt to me. I think it's still a little too blue, so I'm gonna warm things up a little bit, just a little bit so that it's not so blue. Okay, and I think I'm like that. Now, the last step I need to do is I'm going to crop this photo. So I'm probably gonna crop it 16 by nine because that's the thing I do with galleries. And I'm gonna crop it. I don't like this part here, so I'm gonna crop that out. And then maybe having like two thirds of water or one third of sky. Just for the leading line, I think I should leave the water a little bit more. I think I'm gonna crop it this way, something like that. All right, so all these steps that we've done now, you can do them in a few seconds if you install my free preset. Let me show you. I'm gonna right click and create a virtual copy so you can see the difference. I never work like this. I always, always use my preset as a starting point. So I'm gonna reset this photo and I'm just gonna install the preset. The link is below the video. We had some issues last week because so many people downloaded a free preset, uh, but try again, it's gonna work this time. Make sure it doesn't go to your spam. You're gonna get into your spam. You're gonna get a proposal to get my full bundle of 280 preset, what I actually use every day, the one that I've done all my books with. Uh, if you can afford to purchase them, do it. It will change your life and it's gonna help me do more free videos. So I'm gonna import the preset. That's the file you're gonna get if you put in the link under the video. And then boom, uh, it's installed in one click. All I had to do is install this. And on this one, check this out. If I, I go to uh, the golden hour preset or the sunset preset, it's too much. This was actually a blue hour. So I'm gonna use a blue hour preset. And in one click, I just have to adjust maybe just a little bit the white balance. I get a very similar result than what I did in like, you know, quite a few clicks. All I have to do now is the cropping. So I can copy and paste the cropping. So command shift C. Uh, check none. I'm just going to copy process and cropping. So I press Command Shift C. You get that window. You just use process and cropping and then Command V and I'm going to crop it the same way. And um, I get a very similar result. Of course, I would have to tweet using the preset uh, in, in what I just did. So that's why I only use preset. And this is how I did it 13 years ago. It's beautiful, but it's unreal to me. This version looks more real to me. It's really how it was. So this is a side to side. I know a lot of people would prefer this one, but this one is extraordinary too much. This one is really how it was. And this is more what I kind of do now. I understand if you prefer this one, but I think this one in the long run will do better because it's, uh, it's more realistic. That's my next photo. So this was a great photo. I shot this uh, nine years ago with Matt Kluskowski, a really good friend of mine. And, um, you know, I loved it. I sold a lot of this photo, but now when I look at it, I'm like, oh, it's overprocessed. So this is how I'm going to do it now. I'm going to use uh, my preset that I just gave you. So on this one, blue hour, golden hour, sunset. I think I'm going to use a golden hour preset. I still think it's too much. So I'm going to bring back down some blue. And every time when you use my preset, you got to check out the black point. I'm going to check out the black point. So yeah, I want to crush the blacks. I want to do the white. So I'm holding the option key and that's showing me, you see this pixel is 100% black. I don't want to go that strong. I want to go that strong. And then like this, the white balance is totally weird to me. So I'm going to add back a lot of blue. I mean, it was very sunny and I'm going to kill some of the magenta uh, until I have something that I kind of like. Yeah, something like that. Um, let's see if I take out the saturation, maybe a little more yellow, something like this. 
okay add some contrast and you just have to play around because every time you add you do something there the overall white balance changes so i think on this one yeah i'm gonna go like this i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna crop the photo like i did here like a very big pano so uh, a very similar cropping i like the cropping that i did something like that yes and voila press enter yeah i love that and then um okay let's see if i go more into the blue yeah i, I want to go for a complete different look than what i did you know 12 years ago much more realistic but you know what i think in the end it's going to win maybe make it a bit brighter let's check out the, the um when you use the preset you have gradients here so i just maybe add a bit more blue in the gradients yeah let's make the gradient a bit lower uh, maybe a bit darker let's see yeah something like that and then we have another gradient here i think i'm just gonna i'm not gonna use the bottom gradient i'm just gonna use the top gradient okay and then the problem is that you know my eyes is adapting to the retouching so you know maybe it's going to be if i look at it in an hour I, I oh it's too magenta right now i kind of like it then i'm going to kill some of the magenta maybe add a bit more yellow kill a bit more the magenta add a bit more yellow it's the white balance i find is the hardest to nail really good but i think this is how i would retouch it today of course i did my presets so i know my sharpening is done i know everything is done i mean how much faster is it to use these presets you got to try them get my full version you will love it so let me show you this is what i did 12 years ago i love it but it's too extraordinary and this is how i would retouch it today much more natural uh, people are not going to go oh did you retouch this photo did you do something no they're going to go wow what a beautiful view of paris so I hope that helps you in your retouching. You know, it's like being a kid. When you're a kid, we give you a toy and you just play around with it and you play around with it and you, you know, you know, that's how I feel as a photographer. You know, the first time I discover HDR, the first time I discover this plugging and that plugging, I over abuse it, I overuse it. And as I grow, I go calmer and wiser and wiser. And this is how I would retouch it today. Uh, tell me your thought. Do you prefer the old way or the new way? Leave the comment. Get the preset. Get the full pack if you can. You will love it. I have received over a thousand emails of people who got the full preset and told me uh, it's one of the best things they ever bought in photography. Plus, I got a special deal for you. It's a surprise. Click the link under the video.